now time to turn our attention to levels and curves starting in this video where we're going to be exploring the three auto functions namely auto color correction auto contrast and auto levels I have four images open on screen all of them identical and all of them zoomed and panned into the same spot in fact the only difference between these four images is the file names that's going to let me run the three auto commands onto three of these duplicates so we can get a really good idea of how they work and how they all differ from each other. We'll be looking at the finer details in the next few videos by exploring histograms and the full blown levels command but we're going to start with the really simple stuff and that's what these auto functions are designed to be simple. So without any further ado let's check out the image and decide what we're looking to achieve. Well the main problem with the image is that it appears to be washed out and faded not by much but enough to make it visible. The first image at the top left of the screen is simply called Lake Mead and we're going to leave that one as is so we've got something to compare the others to later on. Next to that we've got a version called Lake Mead Contrast so let's apply auto contrast to it and see what we get. To do that I'll start by clicking the image so we've definitely got it selected and then I'll come up to the enhance menu and I'll select the auto contrast option. Straight away we can see that the image has gained a heap of contrast and things are now looking much sharper. Next I'll click the Lake Mead color version of the image and then I'll come up to the enhance menu once again and I'll choose this time of course auto color correction. Again we see a change in the appearance of the image straight away, however there is a significant difference between that and the contrast version we applied previously. Well we're on a roll so let's apply the final auto command to the final version of the image. I'll go ahead and activate it by clicking on the image itself and notice it's called Lake Mead Levels which kind of gives the game away I guess. I'll come up to the enhance menu and this time I'll click on the auto levels option and again we see a pronounced change in the image and a different adjustment to all of the others. So which one is best is the ultimate question. Which one is the right one? Well beauty is in the eye of the beholder so there isn't always going to be a right answer. That's the first thing that we need to make sure that we're aware of. Sometimes we're just going to need to spend a few moments looking at what elements serves up and make an educated guess on what version we like the best. Other times there'll be a clear outright winner and we won't even need to be talking about it or thinking about it. This is not one of those times though as we've got three credible versions on screen. So let's take a look at how elements arrives at all of these and the good and the bad points of each of them. Let's start with the auto contrast option in the top right. To see it better against the original I'm going to come up to this arrange button which is next to the elements icon at the top left of the program and I'll give it a click and then I'll choose this two up preview which is the first icon on the second line. That's going to present me with the original untouched version of the image on the left and the auto contrast version of the image on the right. So what are our observations with this one? Well I'd say we've definitely fixed the contrast and lighting issues but we have got a very rich and saturated looking island with these rocks over the other side of the lake exhibiting a similar appearance. Well with the way auto contrast works we're always going to get something similar to this effect. With auto contrast the command evaluates the whole image without delving into the individual color channels and what that means crucially is that we're not ever going to fix color issues only lighting ones. That's why we still see the redness in the rocks that is in the original image not that it's a bad thing but that's the default behavior of the auto contrast command. Let's move our attention to the fourth version of the image, Auto Levels. Here we can definitely see that both colour and contrast have been adjusted as we're seeing a lot more blue in the lake, for example, and a lot less colour in the rocks. 
Well, again, that's by design of auto levels. Not only does it evaluate and adjust the whole image for contrast, it also delves into the free color channels, red, green and blue of course, to fix any color issues we may also have inside of the photograph. It's not always going to get it right, but things will usually look a lot better once we've utilized it. One problem I can spot with this particular adjustment is that we have particularly blue mountains in the background, although we've ended up with some really good modifications throughout the rest of the photograph. OK, let's see what the third of those auto commands can give us, auto colour fix. So I'm going to switch the second image to it, and once again we compare it to the image on our left. Once again, Auto Color Fix amends the contrast so we end up with better lighting all round, but it also amends the individual color channels so we get improved color. The only thing it does differently to levels is it uses a slightly different setting for the colors, usually ending with better results as we can testify in this photograph. Notice the mountains in the background are still blue, but nowhere near as blue as they were with auto levels. I'm going to switch back to the grid view by coming up to the arrange icon once again and clicking it and then choosing the grid option which is the second one along in the top line. I'll also make sure that we're seeing roughly the same things in all four image windows so that we get a good representation of the same aspects of the photograph in all of those image windows that should do us just fine right there. Now let's turn our attention back to auto color which is this one and notice how the colors of the island and rocks in the background are between the overly saturated auto contrast version and the low key auto levels incarnation of the photograph. Again you may have your own view here but my personal favorite my personal pick of the pop so to speak is definitely going to be this auto color version it works for me so I'll make sure it's active then come up to the arrange icon and choose the consolidate all option and finally I'll use the keyboard shortcut of control 1 here on the PC or command 1 if you're using the Mac to view the image at the 100% view size finally let's have a look at the difference we've made using this auto function by clicking on the original image which again looks washed out and low contrast and then clicking once more on the auto color fix version such a basic and easy way to make good wholesome modifications to your images next up we're going to look at the histogram and how those color channels work so stay tuned <laughs> 